kid. some derisions, y'all. Oh, my nails are getting pretty long. So I need a nail file. And you don't? The boogeyman's gonna come for you. <laughs> nah, that's right. I'm Mr. Pumblechook. Hello there, Mr. Pumblechook. Hello, Mrs. Jeff. How are you doing today? I'm doing excellent. How about yourself? I'm doing pretty good myself. Well, that's good. Would you like a banana? I would. Here you go. Thank you. Here's your bread, Mr. Jupp. Thank you. Here's your marshmallow pip. Take it! You ungrateful snitch. Why didn't oh you say God. thank you? Jesus! Oh my gosh, where are my Doritos? The Doritos! <laughs> Hello, you scrawny little ingrateful boys. You know where I can find the chef from Mr. Joe. Hello, how are you doing today, Mr. Joe? I'm doing quite well. That is good. Would you like to bake us some goods to wear out the hoodlums we found? Oh, yes, I'd love to. Would you like to come with us? Oh, yeah. Okay. We heard they were over this one. My flame and yawn gives me the senses. Yes, they give me. Let's go. What was that? Did you hear that? Whoa! Ugh. Get with the program. Isn't that right, Miss Hunter? It certainly is. Pip, what do you think of Stella? She's so beautiful, yet so insulting. Good. Stella, go get the boys some food. All right, Miss Hunch. Come, boy. Here's your food, boy. Now eat. Oh my gosh! Oh my 
that bitch. What's she drawing? I, I think it's a frying pan. Do you think she wants eggs? I, I'll go get her some. Here, Mr. Joe, here's your eggs. I think she's trying to say that's what hurt her. You know, I'm really enhancing in my education. I'm a pa passing out. Yeah, maybe. You know, you should be the one I fall in love with, but you're not pretty enough for me. Hey, look, a shooting star. I wish I was a gentleman. If that's really what you want, but you shouldn't want things just to impress yourself. So you're a chef? Yes, I am. How's that going? It's going very well. And how much do you make? 16 shillings an hour. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, is your name Pip? Mm -hmm. Someone has put up the money to make you a gentleman. It must be Miss Halfshaw. It's time for me to leave the small town of West Nicholson and head down to uh, Dalton. Oh, and Biddy, make sure you teach a drug over there some manners. Bye. Bye, sis. I'll miss you. Bye. Good. Oh. Yeah, let me take it. Thank her. you. You're the young gentleman. And you're the prowling boy. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my gosh. Have you heard Mrs. Tavish's past? No. Holy crap. Okay, well, I need to tell you this. It's such a romantic tragedy. Even more tragic than the last episode of Laguna Beach? Oh yes, definitely. Ooh. Well, her father spoiled her so much because her mother died when she was little. And he bought her whatever she wanted. And then her father had like so many like romances. It was so confusing and oh my gosh. He remarried like so many times. Crazy. Okay. And then when it was her turn to get married, she was already all dressed up nice. Mm -hmm. Perfect dress, perfect hair. It's friendly. And then at 840 she got a letter. Whoa. Mm -hmm. I know. Whoa. What did the letter say? Oh that letter, it said that her husband that she was going to marry Mm -hmm. Guess what? What? He left her. Whoa. On her wedding day. I mean, on her wedding day. Are you serious? So mean. I know. It was so horrible. Mm -hmm. Pause it. Why didn't he marry and get all her property? Well, he was probably already married. Oh. So Estella isn't really hers? Okay, get this. Estella was adopted. Just like me. Plot twist! <laughs> 